Mr. Excellency has been following us for a while and we've been uh, you know getting his support uh, both on ground and off ground. Uh, he was supposed to come here on the groundbreaking initially in 20 19 uh, he missed that one he missed the launching of the supermarket the service station so the opportunity arrived today when he was around and he had a bit of time and he says chiten uh, i think we can make it today so i said i'm looking for you support your presence anytime whenever you are free and uh, that's what has happened it was all of a sudden and uh, a blessing came in the way of his presence today and we really appreciated his time and uh, the protocol was very same as usual uh, and uh, coming uh, from uh, uh, the highest office in the country it was a proud moment for us and uh, we take it as a very strong support from uh, the highest office and uh, we acknowledge his presence today. And in the interim we managed to uh, strike a partnership a relationship with the Thuilambasa. So there is a new company that we've formed under the joint venture partnership which will develop the rest of the land here. Uh, and the first one is the golf driving range that is going to be this way, 300 meter by 200 meter. We are landscaping that from this week and we'll have a bar and restaurant just around there to complement that golf driving range. So it's a new concept for Fiji. We had it in Denrau, we had it in Diumba. Lambasa never had a golf driving range, but this is something, a visionary uh, project we are doing uh, to cater for the top end of the market uh, and Lambasa can do that. So that's the vision that we have and that should be ready around March next year. That's our target to get it up and running by March next year. That is if we don't have any cyclones uh, affecting us and no more COVID and uh, no regulatory delays which we are working on. We learned a lot and how things uh, happen here but uh, we will prepare better for this new project. So that's there. This side we are talking with the government uh, uh, and the commissioner office about the police post and the health centre which will be complemented by a pharmacy that we'll do here. And this area will become a common car park for all these facilities so we can have 150 car park area which is the worst problem in Lombasa right now you don't have car park anywhere so this place will be uh, spacing all those uh, customers who is either coming to the police post the health center this service station supermarket or for any bites here so that's this frontage commercial that we are looking at right now at the back we are going to subdivide the land that's also under the joint venture which is around 18 commercial lots those will be small retail outlets the clothing shop the shoe shop the barber shop the boutique and those will complement the other businesses here so we are trying to make it into a satellite town and as Tuilomasa says one day it's going to be a war city so that's we sticking by the terminology and we'll try and work towards that at the back of the uh, vacant land uh, will be the uh, residential lots. There's about 70 residential lots that we have earmarked to uh, develop out of that uh, vacant land. And uh, they will be available uh, within the next three to five years. Time. So we are working hard trying to finish the commercials and then we'll hit the residentials. And so three to five years, our whole project should be uh, completed. Uh, I am originally from this village, Vunika. I went to the school here, Vo, had friends in Vo village. And uh, that's where you'll see the name Vo supermarket coming from. So I'm originally from here, born, bred and grown up in Vunika. During my childhood, I used to accompany my dad, my granddad to the hospital, to the health department, to the police areas, wherever we needed to visit. And there was no one op time where we could finish the job on the same day. We had to run to that office three to five times to get one small job done. Shopping was a no-no. Uh, we used to buy from local shops, so supermarket was not in those days for us. And uh, the dream was from then, uh, as I moved to Suva, uh, that uh, one day I think uh, we should have supermarket in Lambasa, we should have health services in Lambasa in our village, for our community, which my dad and granddad and their colleagues didn't get. I had a dream to one day bring that over here in Bunika.
So this is the beginning of that uh, with the supermarket, the service station and the related uh, co complementary uh, outlets. Uh, we are looking at other projects uh, in the future. You will notice this development that we have got here is under the tax-free zone where the government has really helped us a lot. Uh, we bought all the buildings from India. The fixtures and fittings are from Australia and China and they were all landing here at uh, no duty cost. So it's duty free. We saved the duty which is about 30 to 40 percent of the cost we have saved. And then we are also going to save on the uh, tax-free incentive. Uh, that's uh, something that we really appreciate from the government. And they've also helped us. Uh, anytime I was caught up, I used to drop an email to the PM, to the AG's office, and matters escalated immediately and we got the results the very next day. So that was the support we got the, from the government. And we really, really thank uh, the PM's office, the AG's office, and the heads of the department who made it happen. Okay, we feel good because they are allowed to sell the vegetables here. We support our family with these vegetables and they're supporting us too much. They gave the stall free here to sell the vegetables and they look after us. If we need anything, they give us and the customers come, they, we save them properly.